What is going on guys? How is it going today? My name is Scapenomics and we are back with another flipping and money making live stream here on this Wednesday evening. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Be sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the stream and if you're going to enjoy the stream or just okay just drop a freaking like man okay we need likes on this one. Uh, the like numbers boys they've been low. The streams ain't getting recommended out there. We got to get those like numbers up. So just to encourage you to drop a like i'm gonna go make some extra bank today we're gonna get a nice solid hour session in here today not nothing too crazy but anyway we're working with 1.6 bill today a little bit over 1.61 bill uh, if we're gonna be exact we're gonna see how much we can make off of that today be sure to drop a like and let's just bust into it today i don't want to talk too much today and uh, we've been starting so many streams with the Dragon Claws, so we're not going to do that first today. Let's actually do the Primordial Boots first, and then we're going to follow that up with the Dragon Claws next. But it is good to see everybody here today. We have Peppa Chicken popping in here. Good to see you, Chicken Man. Uh, and he says, finally, I catch a live stream. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. We had a ton of people in here, so let me go make sure uh, everyone that is in here gets a little bit of a shout out here. We've got the early gang here to the stream today. We have Jordan Savage, Ryan Sellers, Jesus, Lewinteg, Bob Uncle, Duck, and Sunled. And here we go. We have Davey as well. Good to see everybody today. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to try to make some bank today. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do any more expensive items today. I haven't really decided. Uh, you know what? We can take a stab at maybe... Um, the scythe today i kind of feel like doing uh, at least one high like higher margin item we'll do one that's fairly easy to flip and fairly quick to flip as well and i think that's going to be uh the scythe of viter for us today looks like it might have gone up in price a little bit here from when i was i was flipping these uh earlier just a little bit and i think we can get one for around that price should be okay on that. We have Michael Ingram popping in here, and we have uh, Rom Taffa as well, who I keep forgetting to mod you, Rom, so I do apologize. Uh, but good to see you. He says, I'm here before RJ. Uh, funny to see you, man. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we have Michael Ingram as well. He says, yo, what's up, man? Good to see you, Michael. Welcome, everybody, to the stream today. Let's not get too distracted. I want to make sure we do get everything listed and rolling here on the stream today as I want to make some banks. So uh, let's go ahead and get the Bandos Tacits next. Probably going to follow that up, that up with the Zenite Jewel as well i haven't done the zenite jewelry today at all and i want to make sure i actually flip that today as honestly i think the zenite jewelry is like the freest bank in the world as long as you can afford to flip it uh just because it is so easy to flip anyway if you guys have any questions about what to flip with your cash tag or anything related to flipping please let me know i love flipping an old school runescape and would love to help answer your questions now there is one thing that i did notice today and uh, some people in my discord group were talking about this as well by the way if you do want to join us on discord there is a link in the description below for that but regardless some people were talking about the recent pullback that we've seen on the zenite items not the zenite items the uh the zora items excuse me and i want to see if we can take advantage of that today if the prices are crashing margins are likely to be pretty big and it turns out they're actually bigger than i expected so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that we got about seven blow pipes listed for a 20k margin or so which of course is not crazy but uh it's bigger than i anticipated We'll go ahead and list the Amulet of Torture as well as the Necklace of Anguish, guys. I'll try to make a little bit of money off those. And uh, pretty decent margin on the Tortures. Only 30k, but I do imagine this is going to flip pretty quickly here. And we'll do the uh, the Necklace of Anguish as well. Uh, I actually have found that the Necklace of Anguish is actually better than the Amulet of Torture these days. Uh, in my personal experience. So uh, let me know. Do you guys agree with that? Do you get more money off of the Necklace of Anguish than you do on the Amulet of Torture? Just my experience. I mean, maybe it's just, you know, my personal uh, subjective viewpoint. But I have been making more money off the Anguish recently. Uh, we have Jay Hefner popping in over on Twitch. He says, 10 mil today, let's go. We're going to do our best, Jay Hefner. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we have, uh, he also says he has a math exam tomorrow. So good luck on that. Don't come to me for any mathematics. I suck at math, man. Literally, if you put me in like eighth grade math again, I don't know if I'd pass, boys. Good to see everybody here today. Thank you for piling in. 
837sock says, have you heard of uh, Nyes? Yes, I've actually talked with him before, uh, but I haven't seen him in a while. It would be good to catch up with him. Uh, also, let's go ahead and do the Dragon Warhammer as well. Uh, that was one I wanted to flip today. I did, tr I think, well, okay. Behind the scenes, we're working on the 10 to, or not the 10 to 100 mil. Uh, we're working on the overnight flipping guide. So I did try these uh, last night on our overnight flipping guide without a lot of success, believe it or not. Uh, although since the margin on them right now is pretty stable, I do imagine that maybe uh, it's kind of just like flattening out, kind of stagnating a little bit. Don't know if it's going to have too much opportunity for us tonight to go and flip those, but uh, I'll have to do a further analysis later on about that and if there's actually any potential there. Also, on top of that, for our final item, we're going to do the Diamond Dragon Ball Z. I did these overnight as well. Absolutely incredible margin on these bad boys last night. And uh, this is the exact the exact buy price that I just bought them for. It was the exact sell price I sold them for earlier. So absolutely zero movement on them as of right now. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and list a quantity of those. Welcome everybody to the live stream today. My name is Scapenomics, and you're tuning in to the number one flipping broadcast in old school RuneScape. Uh, Self-proclaimed, of course, but I know some of you would agree with that. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to drop a like if you're watching over on YouTube, and also give us a follow on Twitch if you haven't already. We'd love to have you. Now, uh, also join the CC. Uh, we need more people in the clan chat. Okay, we get a lot of people in the clan chat. We just post margins in there. Uh, when we feel like, you know, we're done with the item and I feel like a lot of stuff goes on in the clan chat that doesn't actually happen in the discord as well. So you can join us in the, our clan chat as well called Scapenomics, same as my YouTube name. And uh, anyway, let's keep going here, guys. We have Jesus saying, be careful with the Ring of Suffering. I will do. I haven't done any Rings of Suffering yet today, but I will keep a close eye on it. Uh, I do like doing the Ring of Suffering, although it is one of the riskier uh, of these Zenite jewelries for sure. Uh, the easiest one to flip, in my opinion, is the Amulet of Torture, then uh, the Necklace of Anguish, and then probably Tormented Bracelet, and then Ring of Suffering. Ring of Suffering is probably the hardest one, but also could be the most profitable. Anyway, we just went ahead and sold those Toxic Blowpipes, 124k in profit, and that took like less than five minutes, it felt like, so really solid margin on that. Definitely might want to look into flipping that yourself if you haven't already. We're going to cycle right after this into the Magic Longbow. We'll see if we can get a good margin going on these bad boys. I love flipping the U longbows and the magic longbows. They always have really good margins on them. So today we're going to take advantage of that 10 GP margin and we'll see how many we can actually flip here, uh, which we, we can basically do the limit on those. So we can make a good amount of money off of those. Peppa Chicken says, uh, buying like 40 blowpipes at 3.2 mil each. Hopefully they don't crash any more. Uh, good luck, Peppa Chicken. It wouldn't be an investment that I would make personally, but hey, every every trader has a different analysis of the market. So best of luck to you, Peppa Chicken. Hokey Games popping over on Twitch. Hokey, man. Good to see you, dude. It has been a minute. Yes, we have the new microphone. Hopefully it does sound better. And uh, thank you for tuning in, man. It's been a while. We also have Baby Bear RS popping in as well. He says, hiya. Good to see you, Baby Bear. Thank you for tuning in, man. Just kind of sitting back, waiting for some items to buy. We almost have all of those Primordial Boots done over here, uh, which I think those are looking really good. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on the Scythe of Vitter. I usually don't let this sit for more than 10 minutes. So uh, if we can't get it in another couple minutes here, we'll definitely make a price adjustment on that. And we'll go ahead and sell those Prims as well. I am Seba Loco popping in. He says, hi, good to see you. Uh, thank you for tuning in, man. And uh, yeah, we're sitting back, kicking back on these margins today, guys. Uh, have you guys had a lot of luck flipping today? Because I, I did do a little bit of flipping, but uh, I, ha I have been working on that uh, overnight flipping guide and I'm getting the final clips for it now. I basically have the entire thing edited and ready to go. Uh, plus a lot of extra tips I put in there. I, I actually like spent a lot of time trying to get all the information in there and uh, hopefully it doesn't sound too rambly because as you guys know, I like to ramble a lot, but I think it's going to be a great guide. I'm just trying to get a few more overnight clips to show you guys the potential and the strength, the absolute brutal power of overnight flipping. I mean, I would say probably half of my cash stack is from overnight flips, really. Like, it really is. We have Godzerker over on YouTube. He says, um, 
but my overnight arcane was lucky today. I got 11 million off of it. I did see that, Godzerker, uh, in our Discord group. I saw that you posted that. Absolutely incredible gain on those. By the way, I turned up the gain of the microphone a little bit today, so uh, hopefully I sound a little bit louder than I have in the previous streams. Let me know if it sounds good. Can always revert it to its original state if we so need. Also, uh, no luck on the tacits here yet, so we gotta knock those down just a little bit. Sort of a shame. I thought we'd uh, get in and out of those really quick, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We'll go ahead and sell these necklaces of anguish here, and we'll sell them for uh, just 1k less than their original sell price. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Be sure to drop a like over on YouTube. We need a lot of likes today, so uh, just because I'm begging for likes, I'm going to make a lot of bang to make up for it, okay? Duck says, I still hardly flip overnight. I need that guy sued. Uh, I need that guide soon if it's where the bank is at, my brother. Yes, we'll get that over to you, Duck. Don't you worry, man. You should... Oh, Sushi with the follow over on Twitch and the subscription over on YouTube. Um, oh, sorry. He subscribed over on YouTube and we had um, Hokey Games following over on Twitch. Thank you, Hokey. Uh, and thank you, Sushi, for the subscription as well uh, to the YouTube channel. We really do appreciate that. Welcome to the flipping team. I hope I can help you out. Uh, and if you need some more extra additional flipping help or you want to ask me questions when I'm not on my live stream be sure to join us on discord it'll help you out a lot if you're in there uh, we basically have a flipping community in there of now over 1700 members so we would love to have you in there as well you can just join the team man but yeah the overnight flipping guide is coming out soon uh, I have put a lot of effort into it and you know there's just a lot of nights where I I record stuff overnight and then I don't exactly like how it turns out so basically the format of the overnight guide is I don't analyze every single item I'm doing overnight what I'm actually doing is I did the first night I flipped everything I analyzed every item and then after that I picked one item that I analyze on GE tracker and then I flip a bunch and then we kind of talk about it after uh, the next day after everything gets sold Mac build over on YouTube asks, how much can I make per hour with 50 mil? Uh, an exper very experienced flipper can probably get like 2.5 mil an hour on a good day uh, with a 50 mil cash stack. If you're still learning how to flip or you're a little bit rusty, probably 1.5 mil sounds about the average. But again, that's like very subjective. I mean, you could get lucky or you could have a lot of flipping experience, which could, you know vary your mileage very greatly also we haven't had a lot of luck getting these magic longbows we're gonna give that a little bit of a bump upwards we'll try to get a few more of those filled out also let's knock the primordial boot down just a little bit we just passed a profitable point as well 356k in profit so far guys that is not too bad Anyway, seems like we're, we're doing fine here today, so it uh, doesn't seem like there's too many concerns as far as flipping goes. Everything's moving just a little bit slowly. We're going to give that uh, Scythe of Vitter a little bit of an adjustment. It's a pretty big bump upwards in price for me. I usually would not be this aggressive. We just knocked it up about 400k, uh, but I do want to get on the margin for this for the live stream. So if we buy it for a little bit higher and sell it for a little bit lower on the first one, it's not really a big deal. Queen Saraha popping in. He says, hey, we're back at it. Good to see you, Saraha. Thank you for tuning in. Where are your streams, man? I haven't seen uh, your streams in a little bit and uh, I miss it, man. I want to tune into those. Duck says, uh, I'm currently selling mine off, but the Toxic Staff has a pretty huge margin. These, this past week, the Toxic Staff whew, has been such a great flip. Uh, I've been flipping that thing pretty much every day because the margins on it have been so good. And I had an 8 mil active flip on the Toxic Staff. Be sure to check it out on Discord if you haven't seen it. Uh, I posted in my, my flipping logs. So um, basically, I put all my like good flips I post in this big log on Discord that you guys can check out if you want to see it. It's also pretty good for item ideas if you are uh, coming up short on some ideas. Let's just uh, get out of these magic longbows. Just not enough profit coming out of them right now. I don't really feel like sitting on them for too long. So we're going to walk away from those. Also, uh, we still have 240 mil. I would like to, you know, let's give the, the Carol's Leather Tops a rip here on the exchange. 1.5 mil. Wow, these things came down a lot in price. 
Uh, typically, these have been trading around like 1.7 mil, so I'm curious if maybe it was a recent movement. Doesn't really look like that's the case. Uh, we'll stay away from that then. Not a great margin on those. Um, I guess we could try and do, you know, I, I kind of want to flip the Dextrous, actually. We'll see if we can get one of these going. Uh, we'll do a manual check on the Dextrous, although I don't typically recommend you manually margin check the Dextrous Prayer Scroll, because it is kind of expensive. Actually, a really bad margin on that compared to what, well, compared to what I've been getting. But, uh, we're gonna go give those a few, we'll, tr we'll try them out. We'll see what, we'll see what happens with them. We'll also do the Imbued Heart as well. Uh, the Imbued Heart has taken a lot of money from us uh, these past couple of live streams, right? It's just, you know, it, the margins have been big. Uh, we haven't really flipped them too easily. Uh, well, pretty good margin on them right now. Uh, but, let's see. Yeah, that should be about right. It's not a crazy margin. Uh, looking at like a little bit over 100k, not too bad. Sushi says, I made a mill today watching your other videos you posted. Sushi, I'm so glad they helped you out. Be sure to ask me any other questions you might have about flipping or money making in old school RuneScape. You've got me here right now live. I can get those questions answered up for you. But I'm glad you're enjoying the content, man. It means a lot. We have Godzerker saying he sold a couple of dextruses at 900k yesterday. And oh, the prof. Oh, the margin. <laughs> Duh. I'm like, why would you sell them for so cheap? Oh, uh, I'm special. No luck on those prims yet, huh? They might have come down a little bit in price. We'll go ahead and sell a few of them here. We'll give it like a 10k bump down. Although, I don't really want to go too far down in price on those. Uh, you know, you have to be careful with the primordial boots when it comes to good margins on them. Because if you see a really strong margin, like 100k plus, that is going to be pretty tough to flip. Primordial boots are surprisingly higher volume than you'd think. And I think this is the case because the buying limit on them is 15 every 4 hours. And while they are relatively expensive, there's still a lot of trades that happen with the primordial boots. Uh, so just be a little bit careful when you trade those. If you see a margin over 100k, be very wary with the item. I am Sebaloko over on Twitch is saying, have you tried RS3 flipping? So I really want to try RS3 flipping. I do. But the problem is I don't know, like, you know, like in old school RuneScape, I know, oh, the Scythe of Vitter is a really expensive item in Butte Heart. I know like what are the expensive items are, the items that are in demand and the items that have like good margins, right? So I don't know that in RS3 because I don't know the meta, which makes me a little bit out of my comfort zone when thinking about wanting to learn how to flip in RS3. But I've heard the margins on RS3 are actually better and you can make more money per hour in RS3. Peppa Chicken says, what do you think about the pump on the Wrath Talisman? Uh, don't flip the Wrath Talismans. You might be able to make a little bit of money. It's just like a bot thing going on where bots are pumping the price of the item. You'll probably lose money if you flip it. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just a little bit too risky. Prims went down so much. Uh, might be a good overnight tonight. Uh, you know, it could be. I'd have to take a look. I actually bought Prims last night at 30350000 so uh, you might actually want to take a look at that tonight. Maybe list around the same price, who knows? I'm not telling, you know, I'm not giving you advice, but, uh, you know, considering they hit that price last night and they were trading at basically the same price as they were yesterday, it might be worth a shot. Anyway, guys, be sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the live stream over on YouTube. It really, really helps me out a lot. So please drop a like if you're enjoying it. Give us a follow over on Twitch as well if you're enjoying it. Uh, what's up, Twitch fam? It's good to have you. Uh, you guys are a little bit newer to the channel, but, you know, our primary audience is over on YouTube uh, if you are curious about that. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Leave a like, leave a follow. DJ Echo uh, with the, the, I believe that is over on Twitch, but uh, I haven't been exactly told yet where that is. No, that's over on YouTube. Thank you, DJ Echo. Do appreciate that, man. And uh, you can join our Discord group as well if you want. If you want to learn more about flipping and money making in old school RuneScape, join us on Discord. The link in the description below. Also on the Twitch panels if uh, you are curious. You know, we cannot get on this site, man.
giving us a run for our money. Uh, we're going to bump it up again. I believe uh, we should be able to get on that now. I'm going to pull it up on GE Tracker as well over on my second monitor here uh, to see if we can actually get one of these traded. Yeah, it says we should be like right on margin. Um, maybe it's a little bit higher than we think it is. 393k in profit so far. Not a great performance. About 20 minutes in. Uh, we do need to keep a close eye on that. Lols, what you say with the follow over on Twitch? Thank you, man. Really do appreciate that. And uh, welcome to the flipping team, dude. Let me know if you have any questions about what to flip with your cash stack or anything related to flipping in old school RuneScape. And we'll be sure to help you out. Thank you for the follow. Kind of just sitting back, waiting for some flips to come through, guys. Feeling really official with the pen here. <laughs> it's stupid, I know, but... <laughs> So Raha says, I've been lacking on the live streams. However, I'm about to drop a new video. Awesome, man. Looking forward to it. No problem. I'm also lulz. Okay, so you got the double praise, okay? Lucky you, man. Lucky you, DJ. And we're sitting back, kicking back, waiting for some of these flips to come through, guys. Uh, there's not too much you can do in the interim here. You kind of just wait for things to sell. Although, those amulets of torture are freaking stiff as heck, man. Also, the uh, those necklaces of anguish need to go as well. We'll see what we can do about that. Uh, it's about a 6k bump down on the tortures here. We'll probably do about the same for the Necklace of Anguish. TN Force 806 thank you so much, man. Thank you for the subscription over on YouTube. We really do appreciate it. And uh, welcome to the flipping team, man. Be sure to ask any questions you have about flipping or money making in old school RuneScape. We'll be sure to get them answered for you. 30 people in here today. Welcome, guys. 15 likes. Smack that like button if you are enjoying the video, guys. Really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. Uh, if you go look at my channel, it's actually, like, it's actually crazy how much likes help promote your video. Like, if your video gets a lot of likes, like, YouTube recommends it way more. Like, just go check out my, um, like, old school RuneScape, what coming to Steam, what to invest in, that video. I don't know what to call it. Uh, that video got a ton of likes. I got some dislikes too, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, it gets, it's just been getting promoted a ton. So thank you guys for the support on that. I hope you did enjoy that one. Man, it's a, a stiff market today, guys. We got a lot of trouble making some trades today. Interesting because we had, it's, it's kind of crazy because we had such insane markets uh, these past like two weeks or so. And yesterday and today, I found there's been a sudden drop uh, in, in how well things have been doing. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but you know, last week, the week before that, absolutely incredible trades fast trades, huge margins, uh, and I do expect we're going to have that similar situation as soon as Trail Blizzard Leagues comes to an official end. I also heard that I think they're doing another Twitch Prime event um, where you get like seven day free membership. Can someone confirm with me on that? Uh, someone was telling me today that they're going to do another event, which uh, that's a really big shame. By the way, guys, join us in our clan chat as well. We're trying to glow, grow, <laughs> glow the clan chat, grow the clan chat a little bit. It's Scapenomics, just like my YouTube name. So be sure to join us in game with the clan chat name. And uh, we kind of just talk about flips in there. Uh, we don't always talk about flips, of course, but I usually post if I find something good, I'll usually just list the margin in the discord. So I'm not in the discord in the clan chat uh, if I'm doing active flipping. But anyway, enough of the promo. Let's keep flipping. Still no luck on this scythe, man. Uh, it could be that the scythe is just going up in price really fast right now. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Also, no imbued hearts yet, and we paid a big margin cost check for that. So, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, we still have 385 mil, though. So, let's go ahead and get another flip going. Uh, I'm going to do the Armadil Godsword first, and I think I'm going to do the Bandos Godsword as well. These have actually had bigger than expected margins these past three days or so. I've been hitting them uh, pretty Pretty frequently and look at that man really good margin on those I say really good margin and it's like 20k I mean it's not that insane but for the armadillo god sword and the bandos god sword compared to what we've been getting recently oh yeah very good margin on those like percentage wise like <laughs> a 200% increase I keep checking these bandos god swords and armadillo god swords and getting like 5k margins on them only until this like last week have I really had a lot of luck on them 
I think I tried to do the Armado God Swords overnight last night too, but it didn't really work out too well. We did get those um, Dragon Warhammers off. I don't think we made a ton on those. Yeah, 92k for five of them, guys. That's like nothing. Anyway, we'll walk away from that item uh, a little bit sad. Let's go ahead and try to get a Grazi going today. Um, you know, the Grazi had a really big drop in price. It dropped about 10 mil, but it looks like it kind of stabilized out a little bit. I don't expect the margins to be too crazy on it, although I do think flipping it is going to be relatively easy. Hopefully that is the case. And we'll get like two of those listed in the meantime. We're still sitting on 164 mil. Uh, we're going to adjust the imbued heart as well. Queen Saraha with the $2. Uh, he says, chug, chug, chug. I don't have any beer today, man. Uh, we typically don't drink during the weekday streams. We have in the past, but uh, we, it's kind of like a new thing. We haven't been drinking during the weekday streams. But I do appreciate the $2. Uh, tune in to us or with us, I guess, on Friday. And uh, I'll get that chug for you, man. But Queen, thank you, man. Do appreciate it. Uh, seriously, it means a lot, man. Even the two dollars like you guys don't understand. I just do this for fun as a hobby and uh, getting any amount of money is you know It's kind of like a shocking thing We're gonna go ahead and sell those grazis back they bought pretty quickly So I'm actually gonna cycle back into those at a cheaper price on these ones um, We're gonna see if we can actually get any more of these so, mm, Maybe I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, I hope it does though We have Jay Hefner over on Twitch. He says, I had a 50 GP margin on manas or, uh, oh, a few minutes ago, but I don't know if it's still there, but it's worth a try. As soon as we clear up the Diamond Dragon Bolts E, we'll go ahead and give those mana rays a shot, man. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, we'll check it out for you. Godzerker says, try um, Sara Godsword, I think. He says it's 100k right now. Uh, we can give those a shot as well. Although, I'm the thing I'm most concerned about really right now is getting on this scythe margin. Like, what is going on? This could be an instant buy. We'll have to see. It wasn't. Huh. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in today. A little bit of a rough start to the session. Only 492k in profit so far, which is a little bit tough. Uh, we're about 27 minutes in two. We've paid a lot for margin checks so far without a lot of price action. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit unfortunate, but it's sometimes it's like that on the Grand Exchange. So you just got to overcome and adapt to the situation that you're given. Uh, you know, I do want to cycle into some more expensive items, if that is the case. Try to flip maybe some bigger margins. That way, you know, even if the trades do take a while, at least we're walking away with a good amount of money every trade we do make but in the meantime we're going to flip the oh someone wanted me to do the um the mana ray we'll go ahead and give that a shot also we can take a look at the blighted super restores as well wow how is this how is this still a thing Jay Hefner, great suggestion, man. We'll see if it hits, but I don't know if it's going to work out. Uh, we're getting about 40 GP on those. Got to support these fellow flippers, my guy, says Saraha. Yeah, man, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you, man. Eight viewers over on Twitch. We got 36 on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to give us a follow on Twitch if you are enjoying the content. Also, a subscription over on YouTube if you're enjoying it there. Also, you can join us in our Discord group. Link in the description below to that. Or our clan chat in game at Scapenomics. Thank you guys for the support. Still only 512k in profit. A little bit tough, but uh, we're gonna make the best of the situation, guys. Uh, you know the the margin on the Dextrous. We we did pay like 80k for a margin check on that, but we're not having a lot of luck buying them. So I think we're just gonna cycle out of that maybe and try to find something else in place of it. I think the Dragon Dart might be a good one. I, you know, these dragon darts have been dipping sub 2k, which is, uh, in my eyes, shocking. Pretty good margin on them right now, though. We'll go ahead and try to hit the limit on them. Amulet of Torture, still struggling. I don't remember where we bought these. Uh, let's see what the price was. Looks like we bought them for about 11,964, huh? Okay. Maybe we'll do 975. Should be about right. Mm. 
David Radcliffe says, love the content, mate. Good looks on the flips today. Thank you so much, David. It's not going great so far, but we're going to turn it around, man. You know how it is here on the channel. Uh, we always make the best of the market we're given, of the situation we're given, and we're going to come out on top. Jem Flea on Twitch saying, Corey, uh, good to see you, Jem. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I, if I missed your question, Sushi, let me uh, see if I can find it here. Ryan Reynolds says, hey, dude, how's your night? Good to see you, Ryan. It's pretty good so far. I uh, wish markets were a little bit better, but uh, it's, it's it hasn't been too bad so far. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find your comment. Uh, Sushi, if you could post it again, that'd be great. I cannot see your message, actually. Nurseaholic with the follow over on Twitch. Good to see you, man. Uh, thank you for tuning in, dude. Do appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and get... Let's see. We have no pet RNG over on YouTube. He says, pro tip for all dragon darts is only a plus two damage boost compared to the mithril darts with a zero accuracy bonus, but only to sell the dragon darts. That's actually a good pro tip. Uh, I think a lot of people just use the best in slot darts because a lot of people don't know uh, all the technicals behind a lot of the gear. So it's important to keep that in mind, right? When new content comes out, is it really worth the dragon darts? You might be paying a premium on those because merchers might be getting into them. Just something to keep in mind. Wait, can what be used IRL? I can't, I can't see whatever you're talking about, but, uh, probably. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, s oh, um, we have Sushi over on YouTube asking, uh, question was, I have 200 mil invested on items I think slash thought would go up after the Twisted Leagues. Should I keep waiting or should I go ahead and sell? No loss if I sell. Um, you know, these are situations where... You know, investing is a con entirely different beast than old school RuneScape guides. I've been trying to push that a lot on my channel because I think a lot of people don't realize how difficult it actually can be and, you know, the whole entire thought process behind it. Like, for, like, for example, how much of your cash stack is locked up in investments? If it's over 10%, you might want to get, you know, a little bit of a reduced position. Uh, on top of that as well, how often are you going to be playing the game? Like, you might want to invest all your money if you're taking a two to three month break and you expect an item to increase within that time. Uh, you know, that's a situation where an investment is, you know, a good idea. But if you think an item's going to increase in price by two mil and it's going to take three months, is it worth it to lock up, let's say, 700, 700 mil in that item? Maybe not. So uh, there's situations like that. I would personally you know, maybe reduce the position size a little bit, uh, maybe take a little bit of money out of the investment, uh, maybe keep 100 mil in it if you are someone who's got over a billion GP, uh, but that's just my personal opinion, uh, and that's without even knowing the items, right? I don't even know what you invested in to begin with, but either way, uh, just my kind of how I would handle the situation, right? Flipping. I want to flip drugs. I definitely do not recommend doing that. You will probably get arrested. And uh, anyway, we're going to sit back, kick back, try to trade some margins here today, guys. 41 people over on YouTube. Thank you so much. Be sure to drop a like if you are enjoying. Um, we got five people over on Twitch. Shout out to the Twitch crowd as well. You're equally as important. Uh, we love you over there. So anyway, we are uh, having a really, really tough session so far, guys. Uh, almost everything we're trying is just not coming through. And uh, it's really a shame because I love logging on, just getting on live stream and just ripping through margins like everything we hit uh i mean who who doesn't like that right who doesn't like just going on the grand exchange not even really trying and just hitting crazy margins on items like it's hard to not like that but anyway we're gonna do the best we can valor links over on twitch with the follow thank you valor links we do appreciate that and uh welcome to the flipping team make sure to ask any questions you have about flipping or money making in old school runescape and we'll get that answered for you uh but thank you for tuning in I'd say about 15% of my money been working in a skill, so I haven't worried about flipping. Yeah, that's another thing, right? If you're not going to be active flipping a lot or you want to make gains within game, 
uh, then maybe you want to invest your money. I'd say 15%. That's totally fine. Uh, it doesn't seem over leveraged at all, in my opinion. Um, I would just wait on that, man. Uh, if in that case, if you think the items are still going to go up, I mean, there is still people who are playing at Trailblazer Leagues, but I assume most people are probably about done with it by now. But uh, I would say there's still a good amount of the player base who needs to come back from Trailblazer. So you got some time. Although I wouldn't hold uh, too long after Trailblazers. I think if you see a big market bull run, then you probably would want to exit uh, somewhere in the midst of that run, right? We did get the Grazi off. Woo, good to see, man. We're waiting so long for that. Uh, you know, I do want to cycle in to some other items here, but we just cannot get these amulets of torture out. Uh, we had Ryan Morin say he posted something in the chat. Um, oh, platinum tokens. You know... Platinum tokens, the thing with platinum tokens, I do like it, but there is an issue I have with it. Uh, platinum tokens averages the prices, so you can't actually see all the price fluctuations like you can on GE Tracker. Since GE Tracker tracks every listing that's tracked through OBS, then, um, or OBS? OS Buddy, sorry, I'm so used to the recording software. Um, because it tracks every trade through that, you can actually see when an item dips and it really quickly recovers, which gives you a good sign of if an item might increase a lot in price soon or decrease in price a lot. Uh, and Platinum Tokens averages the buys and sells, so you don't actually see the exact price points. That's the only reason I don't like Platinum Tokens. Um, but besides that, I've just gotten used to GE Tracker. I, I like it as a platform a lot more. And uh, they are a partner of ours, so uh, of course I'm going to speak highly of them as well. But I do like uh, GE Tracker a little bit more because I feel like besides the price graphs itself, it's got more features, right? You've got the armor set feature um, where you can see how much you'll make from creating an armor set out of items. And uh, it's got a high alk feature as well, things like that. SCW Benny over on YouTube is asking, how do you know some good free-to-play items to flip? I have two mil and I want to get a bond. Uh, flipping in free-to-play is really tough, but if you need to flip in free-to-play and you've got about two mil, I would flip mithril bars, steel bars, iron ore, coal, uh, tuna fish, raw tuna fish, swordfish, lobsters, raw lobsters. I think that's about it. You logs, that's another good one. That's about all I know. I don't flip in free to play a lot. Uh, you know, I, I hardly ever do it because you can just make so much more money flipping in members. There's no luck on this scythe, man. I, it's just... Oh, we, we we actually did stretch the margin a little bit on that Grazi. Looks like it might have been a margin check, actually. So uh, we'll just keep that in mind and knock that next one down a little bit. Um, that's good to see, though. Nurseaholic says, ah, I see lobsters are still useful. Yes, man, they are. Uh, lobsters are actually extremely cheap right now. I think they're trading at like 140 GP each. I'm pretty sure, which is like the cheapest they've almost ever been. Um, that's I'm not saying I recommend an investment at that level. We'd have to give it a further analysis, but um, they are really cheap right now. I used to make black armor sets plus gilded sets. It got me to membership. Uh, I, you know, honestly, it look, okay, if you want to play old school RuneScape and you want to get into it for real and you want to give it the best shot in the world, just pay for membership for one month and play in members. The experience is going to be so much better. Like, you're going to enjoy the game way more. You know, I feel like a lot of people try RuneScape, they try free to play, and then they get bored of it and they leave. I really do think that's a big problem that the game has. Where if they played members, they might enjoy it a lot more. Anyway. John Vegas. This is a great question coming from John Vegas. I'm so glad he asked this over on YouTube. He says, what do you think is better when you are active flipping? Selling items right away as they come in and using two GE slots? Or waiting for the entire item to buy and then selling it using one slot? Thanks. Um, you know, it depends. If you've got an open slot, I say use it. Although, I don't think it's critical to instantly sell your items. Um, so, you can, you know, if you have an extra slot open, use it. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, I think a lot of people think about that a little bit too much. You know, if you have a slot open, definitely go ahead and liquidate it. But anyway, we're going to give a slight bump on the Grazi margin here. We are actually having a little bit of luck with it, though, so I'm happy about that. Again, it's not a crazy margin on that, but it's good enough. We're going to try to do a few Ancestral Hats here as well. Which, these things, the Ancestral Hats crashed in price, like, below 11 mil, and then they just went up and skyrocketed again. So, I don't really know what that's about. 
we'll go ahead and list a few of these here. Try to make as much money off it as possible. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Be sure to drop a like if you're watching over on YouTube. If you're watching over on Twitch, be sure to give us a follow as well. And uh, for both of you guys, join us on Discord with the link in the description below. We basically got a flipping community of over 1,700 members now, and we'd love to have you join. We discuss flips, investments, and uh, whether you're a beginner or an experienced flipper, I think you can benefit from some of the features that we offer in there. Tormented Bracelet has a 124k margin, says Jesus. Uh, I think we're going to stay away from that. Um, you know, that is a good margin, but it's not something I really want to flip right now. But anyway. Does the pen make me look more official, guys? Do you feel like uh, I'm a I'm a pro flipper with this thing? Like, I'm so bad at, like, twirling it, too. Hold on. I dropped it. <laughs> anyway. I wish I could, like, write on the screen and, like, write things out, but it is what it is. Still no luck on the scythe here. Uh, a little bit unfortunate on that, gotta be honest. I think we'll still profit at this level, but... Also, these armadillo god swords. I should have managed that way sooner. We'll do the same on the bandos god sword. We're gonna cut back on both of those. And we'll let them do their thing. Matt Cool says, what plugin are you using to flip stuff? This is a plugin called Flipping Utilities. I highly recommend you get it. It is within Runelight and uh, it's very easy to get. It's also one of the best, in my opinion, look, I've been flipping in and just money making in old school RuneScape for about four years, uh, three years on live stream and four years of video content. But uh, besides that, um, I honestly think that flipping utilities is probably the best thing to ever come to flipping in old school RuneScape. I really think it is. Uh, you know, Genie Tracker is obviously a really big one. Platinum tokens, those are huge things uh, for the flipping community. But as well, flipping utilities, I mean, I think, honestly, I think it's the most revolutionary. Uh, it First of all, it helps people learn how to flip. And second of all, it gives it tracks all your trades. You can literally look at, like, all-time profit. It's crazy. 343 mil sitting on the sidelines. We're going to cut out of these um, mana rays because I feel like there's a lot of people on them right now. So we're going to stay away from those. Um, we'll actually go ahead and do... Let me think. Uh, let's try the Abyssal Bludgeon. I said I was going to run the Abyssal Bludgeon last time, but we never got around to it. So we'll go ahead and try to trade a few of these. I think I'm going to try to hit these overnight tonight as well. We'll get a few of these going here. I accidentally listed eight, but uh, we're only, I think we have seven left in our limit, so we gotta be careful with that. Really tough session today, guys. Only up, what are we, 42 minutes into the stream, and we're only up 776K. Looks like the markets have been giving us a run for our money today, quite literally for our money. Uh, but anyway, we'll do uh, 98 mil, so I think we can do, let's try and do some of those, uh, like archer's rings i did archer's rings and berserker rings yesterday and both of them cleared a 30k margin so i want to see if we can actually get these going again and by the way that is a strategy I, I actually use like kind of subconsciously if i flipped an item yesterday and it had a good margin i always check it the day after and i'll keep checking it until it has like a bad margin right uh just keep try to keep track mentally of the items that you did flip for a significant margin the day prior and flip them during the next day because usually there's a lot of money to be made on them uh, multiple days in a row and let's go ahead and do we're going to do the pagations next actually we'll see if we can get a good margin going on these the brim, or not the brimstone, the uh, primordial boots had a pretty good margin, so I do expect the pegasians will as well. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's not, these are decent margins all around, it's just not good for how much money you're putting into the flip, right? It's not like a good ROI. That's why uh, I don't love it, but we'll go with it anyway. We did get the scythe off, uh, which is good, I guess. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's fine. 
we should be able to buy one for this price here. I'm not going to list the exact price, but uh, once we get one bought at this level and sold, then we'll know exactly where it is. Like, you can see on that first scythe here, we only made 300k flipping it. Usually on, on a good day and, you know, when the markets are, are up, for the most part, uh, you can trade a scythe of Viter for about 800k to a mil. That's typically where I aim for when I flip these. But uh, you can't always get that. So sometimes you got to settle for like 600, 700k. Less than that, I probably wouldn't flip these too much. Queen Saraha says, it happens champ, it's there. The margin isn't good, it isn't bad, it's just in existence. Yeah, it's actually funny you mentioned that, Saraha, because... Um, I know an item that you like to flip is that Justicia stuff, and I've actually been flipping that uh, these past few days, been doing really good on that, and I actually recorded an entire video, and I had Justicia flips in there, and I think we made like 2 mil total off all of the uh, individual pieces, um, which, you know, I don't think I'm going to release the video because I really don't like how it turned out, but it's you know, we still made bank in the video, I just don't love the commentary on it, so I think we'll just scrap that one, and uh, we'll, we'll have to record something else for you guys. Duck says, someone tell me why Dragon Crossbow prices have gone to nothing. I'll tell you right here. Um, people constantly farming rune dragons and the demand for the Dragon Crossbow being basically non-existent. That's why. I mean, why pay for a Dragon Crossbow to go PvPing with or use for content when A, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow is better in almost every situation or the Toxic Blowpipe, and B, why pay 1.3 mil when you can pay 10k for a rune crossbow which basically has the same stats? That's why no one wants that thing. Anyway, just my opinion, of course, again, we have Anonymous giving a subscription over on YouTube as well. Thank you, Anonymous. Do appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, to the stream today. Be sure to drop a like if you are enjoying it. It really means a lot to me and helps with my content getting out there for everybody to see. Also, if you're not with us on Discord already, be sure to join us with the link in the description below. We talk about flipping, investing, and money making in that Discord group. And whether you're a beginner flipper or an experienced flipper, I think you could honestly benefit a lot from joining the Discord. Discord, so we'd love to have you in there. Wish you had emotes, core. Uh, you know, it's something we have to work on, the emotes. Uh, we'll get there, though. Don't worry. Lake Chiesi popping in as well. He says, hi. Good to see you, Lake. Thank you for stopping by today. Uh, we're just trying to make a little bit of bank today, guys. Look at the man. Nothing we're hitting today is whew, tough day on the markets, guys. We could cycle into some more expensive stuff. Should I do it? I don't know. Considering we haven't had a ton of luck on the Scythe of Viter, I don't know if we should really go full high margin. It's an option, though. It's always an option. Sunlet says, really bad day for me. Only got one mil in two hours. And uh, no, Queens, we haven't done the Elder Mall yet, but we'll keep that in mind. And uh, if for anyone who hasn't been flipping that long, this is going to happen. There are days where uh, margins are really just not that great. And you kind of just have to overcome and adapt to it. Uh, and, you know, if you're getting frustrated with margins, just do some, like, overnight flips, log off for a while, come back in a few days. Uh, I love flipping, so even when markets are bad, I still try to make as much as I can out of it. But if they are frustrating you, just... Trust me, don't overdo it because I know a lot of people, they see the content, uh, they're really excited to start flipping, they see the potential, and uh, maybe they see they have a good teacher, but hey, 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 a little bit of a humble brag there. But um, but anyway, I know a lot of people that start flipping and they burn out from flipping because they just focus on flipping. Flipping is something you're supposed to do on the side. It's supposed to be a casual thing. The only reason I do it so much is because it's my favorite thing to do in game. It's what I've been making content on for years, and uh, I'm really, really passionate about it. So... I love it. I am a rare breed. Definitely flipping is something to do on the side. It's not, you're not supposed to flip 24-7 uh, or you're going to burn out, I promise. Let's try to get this uh, one ancestral hat back. Gemfully over on Twitch says, in the words of Hannah Montana, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Wow, that is a blast from the past. I'll tell you that one. Oh, man. Uh, let's do the Armado Crossbow next. We'll see if we can get something good going on that. We have to find uh, the needle in the haystack, boys. We'll find that good margin, man. That looks like it'll do. 
We'll get a few of these going here today. Hopefully we have some luck on the overnights. Looks like things might be pretty stable today. John Vegas says, Netflix and flipping, that's what I call a good night. Dude, John, I am with you there 100%. I've actually been watching The Walking Dead recently, believe it or not. I've been watching that while I've been flipping, and I am binging that show. Crazy. Like, I'm already on, I think, episode one, season four. I finished season three last night. So, I know it's an older show, but uh, I'm a big zombies guy. Like, I like zombie stuff, uh, as long as it's not corny zombies. And, uh, you know, The Walking Dead is really, uh, like... It's just, you know, it's been great so far. Anyway, let's not uh, talk about all the relevant shows, I guess. What is your favorite thing to do while flipping? Let me know. Also, let me know where are you watching the stream from today? Where in the world are you tuning in from? Personally, I'm coming at you live from the East Coast of the United States. We're getting a lot of snow today, guys, so we're going to stay indoors. I mean, we, we've already been staying indoors because of this virus going on anyway, but uh, we're going to get snowed in today, so it's just going to be kind of a fun day. I don't know. Call of Duty Zombies, I love it, man. I want to get that new Zombies game as well, uh, because I freaking love Call of Duty Zombies. Bro, I'm like five miles from your house. <laughs> you can get my Wi-Fi password, probably tune into uh, the same exact address. Ask Mike. <laughs> I think we've actually talked about that before in Ursaholic. We got those Pagasians going back. Wow, everyone popping in. Watching from Scotland, Mikey Matter says, with thumbs up. Mikey, man, that's crazy. Netherlands. Dude, Jay Hefner, we have a big Netherlands audience. I don't know what it is, but those Netherlands guys, hey, they love the content. I'll put it that way. These items today. Baby Bear RS. I know, right? We can't make a freaking dollar today, man. No money coming in right now. Absolutely nothing. By the way, um... If you're watching over on YouTube, we're at 29 likes, and if you could just, if, if someone who hasn't liked it yet, you could just smack that like button, that'd be amazing. Uh, 30 likes, it'd be crazy. For a Wednesday stream, well. Thank you guys for watching today, though. We're gonna keep cranking it here. That sounded a little bit odd. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm telling you, if we can't get a good margin on this, uh, bludgeon i'm gonna be really upset look at look at everything here like everything we've listed okay you people are gonna be watching the stream back and they're gonna be like this guy sucks at making money i have not gotten anything moving today literally nothing is working I, the freaking osrs economy needs a stimulus check like legitimately Stu Fleas, he says, try some spicy stuff, twisted horns or blueprint or something. Also, good night. See you, Stu. Thank you for popping in, man. Do appreciate it. Might want to try the tortures again. The problem with the tortures is we're, we're already on limit for the tortures, so we can't actually go back and flip it. 36 likes. Holy moly. You guys just blasted the like button. What the frick? Thank you, guys. <laughs> holy moly. Uh, anyway, that was like a couple streams back when like we had like 30 likes and then I was like, drop a like and then like literally 20 people did it. It was crazy. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and do uh, another scythe. I'm going to try to bump it up a little bit. You know, I think Stu brings up a good point about trying to cycle into maybe some more crazy items, but I don't really want to do anything too crazy today. Today's market is dead. 38 likes. Holy cow. Thank you, guys. Scapenomics in the house says Rage Virus. Rage Virus. Good to see you, my man. Uh, coming up with the beer emoji as well. <laughs> Not tonight. I mean, it's a Wednesday. We can't get we can't get too crazy on a Wednesday, but uh, come in for a weekend stream and Rage. I've got it for you, man. Xbox or PS? Um, I don't have either. John Vegas says, I'm from CT. That storm's looking huge. I know, it's going to be a little bit spooky, man. Uh, I'm not too far away from you, man. Thank you for following Zip Skylark over on Twitch. We do appreciate the follow, man. Thank you, man. 40 likes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Woo! 
Saraha pushing the likes today. Do appreciate it. Reassuring to know that I'm not the only one having a slow day, says Horse Detective. Sorry, Horse, I missed that, man. Uh, good to see you, though. Yeah, it's been a super slow day on the markets today. I can't get anything traded. Uh, and it wasn't really like that this morning for me. I did a quick session earlier today, but after that, just absolutely nothing, man. Too late to succeed over on YouTube says, Good luck with the Streamscape Nomics. I'm on mobile, so I can't hear you, but I wanted to wish you luck. Thank you so much, man. Do appreciate it. We also have Little Tom popping in with the follow over on Twitch as well. Little Tom, thank you so much, man. Do appreciate it. We're going to try to make some money here today in a bad situation. Currently almost at the hour mark, 1.4 mil in profit. Uh, you know, I'd like to get that up a little bit here, but uh, we're kind of like trying to pump it up and then we're getting dumped on. You know what I mean? So it's not working out too well. Uh, Saraha says we should hit up some zombies, man. I don't have an Xbox or the new game, but I do have, uh, the Xbox 360, but I'm a little outdated, I know. I like, because I have a computer, so I don't spend money on, like, a console, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people might share that same way. Also, PC is the master race, okay? So, y listen, if you're playing on console, what are you doing, okay? That's what I'm saying. All right, let's go ahead and sell this uh, scythe back. I, you know, we did finally get another one, which is which is good to hear. Uh, actually, I think we can get a little bit more money out of this thing. I guess in theory, we actually didn't wait too long for that scythe to buy. Well, yeah, we did because we we were waiting uh, for the previous offer to fill on that, so we actually did wait a fair amount of time for that. Getting another one of the scythes traded will uh, will be a huge plus. Who needs an ex who needs a PS or Xbox when you can buy an expensive computer to play old school RuneScape? <laughs> you don't even want to know. PS4 for life. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Please. Yeah, how's how's uh, Cyberpunk working out for you guys? Yeah, you, you can you run that on console? I don't know about that. I have a um. What do I have? What is my graphics card? Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll check for you right now. I think I looked at this the other day. Oh. Come back. There we go. Let's see, we have an... Uh, oh my, it keeps messing up here. Okay, nope. There we go. Alright, we have the... I have the uh, GeForce uh, 2070. Cyberpunk running on almost max settings looks amazing. 2080 Ti. Ooh, ooh, give me those graphics, man. The only problem I have about Cyberpunk, and this would be for any game company, any game, I hate when games are released without polish. It is, I, it makes me so upset, you know, just take out the bugs, spend some time in QA. It's a classic classic example of higher-ups or upper management at a company looking down on the devs and saying, we got to get this out by X date for like holiday sales or whatever it is. It's just a shame. Like if that game, if the, just think about if all the bugs were out of Cyberpunk, it would be one of the biggest games ever. So much hype for that game. Uh, and it, you know, it's just, you, of course, oh yeah, they're going to fix them, but come on. You got to have a clean release, man. And uh, I just hate that every company does this these days. It, you know, who, why polish a game if people are going to buy it if it's unpolished and you can just fix them later? Money now. They want money now. I, I get it, but it's a little bit scummy in my opinion. Yeah, investors push it out way before it was ready, says Nurseaholic. Exactly, man. And, and uh, that's very typical. That's with any product at any company. I mean, uh, you know, if something's not ready to go, they want to get it out and... Uh, I guess, you know, the game suffers, right? Which is a shame because a lot of those developers, uh, you know, they work really hard to make a good game and they're really passionate about it. So it really sucks. Anyway, we've got to do something about those ancestral hats. We're probably just going to walk away from those. Um, 
I can't get anything traded today. Let me think about what we might be able to do. Um, we'll try and do maybe. I, I guess we'll try the ancestral road bottom. Uh, you know, we'll tr like look at look, everything I'm listing is just not buying, and I think it's just slow markets. I really don't think it's uh, it, maybe it's competition. I doubt it though. I think it's just really slow markets. Like, I can't even clear 50k on an Ancestral Road Bottom. Like, are you joking? Like, can't even get 50k margin on this thing? Usually, if I check one of those, I'm getting at least 100k. I can't even get 50k today. Jay Hefner over on Twitch, he says, I don't hate the con on console. It was great during the lockdowns. I used it mostly for connecting slash playing games with friends. Where Okay, where the console trumps, consoles are always amazing for local, like, LAN parties or local co-op. You know, obviously console is going to be way better. Uh, I feel like when I'm playing, like, a game with a friend locally on an Xbox or whatever it is, um, any system, you know, I really feel like connected to the experience with my friend and it's just a smooth easy experience I mean, obviously, you know local local co-op console is gonna trump every time but almost anything besides that I'm not a huge console fan. Uh, I don't like it because One you got to buy a new console every few years uh, You know, you okay, you could argue that for a PC as well, but you know you buy a pretty decent PC It's gonna last you at least six years. I would think um Maybe even longer, who knows? Um, and not all games need, you know, top graphic settings, right? So, uh, that's why I like the PC. You can also upgrade the PC if you need to put new parts in it. Super easy to do. Uh, most people who are gamers know how to do that, I think. Uh, some don't, but a lot do. Probably just as good as your Xbox, true. Mahi Mahi over on YouTube says, I played yesterday on free to play and it was the only thing that had a, had a profit was rune armor. Everything else was falling. The problem with free to play flipping is it's super competitive and it's hard to get good margins on things. That's the only thing, uh, the only reason I really don't like free to play. Um, and, and there's not as many items in, in members. There's just so many items you can flip. Suraha is heading out for the night. Good luck, Scape. Thank you, Suraha. Thank you for tuning in, man. Do appreciate it. And uh, thank, thank you for the help with the likes. I like that a lot. I do appreciate that. By the way, guys, if you want to join us in our Discord group, we've got a Discord group dedicated to flipping and money-making in Old School RuneScape. You can join that with the link in the description below. We'd love to have you on there. If you're following over on Twitch, be sure to give us a follow. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Drop a like as well. Really helps me out a lot, guys enough of that, but a uh, pretty horrible session today. You know, I don't think we're going to go for too much longer because we are just having a horrible day today. Everything I'm checking, no trades coming through. Uh, you know, it's, it must be a combination of lower volume. And I guess, you know, if we could get this scythe off, first of all, we'd be in a way better situation. So let me go ahead and knock this down a little bit, but uh, we'll get this thing sold off before we end it for sure. But anyway, yeah, really, really tough market today. Um, and it, it seems like in the live chat as well, you guys are having a very similar experience. And if you're someone who's new to flipping, this actually tends to be the case occasionally, right? You know, you'll get to the grand exchange, you'll try to set a few flips, things will struggle. Not a lot of trades come through. Um, you know, rarely is it this bad though. It's really, really bad right now. Um, you know, 1.5 mil profit with like over a bill cash stack is horrible. Um, maybe there's some items I'm missing or something like that, but I'm just having a really rough rodeo on the exchange today. But you know what? It does happen. Semper Fidelis over on YouTube says, same happened to me today. Nothing to trade with and have a decent benefit. And it, 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 on top of that, uh, Semper, like as on, on top of that as well, you know, I'm margin checking margins look crappy. And then I try to flip them anyway, and I can't get any to buy. Like, it's just really odd. Um, you know, it's, it's just an odd situation. I did crunch almost 3 mil along uh, with the stream alongside of you. I posted it in the Discord. Started about 20 minutes before the stream. Amazing, Duck. Let's give a, let's give a pod champ to Duck. Nice job, man. Um, let's see. Check margin on a magic short bow scroll opinion on overnight. Uh, not a super high, like, you know, I don't really know what the magic short bow, short bow scroll is used for. I think it's used for imbuing a magic short bow. Not crazy about the trade, personally. 
Daver. Good to see you, man. I can't understand what you're saying, but thank you for tuning in, man. Brendan Charles says, try Inquisitor. We were going to, but, you know, if I can't get a good margin on some of this stuff, then I can't imagine Inquisitor is going to give me a great margin either. Although, I do bet Inquisitor will at least have a better margin than what we're doing right now. Uh, but I'm not going to cycle into any Inquisitor today as we are towards the tail end, but I did think about it earlier. Too many bots could be the case. Yeah, so... You know, this is something I say a lot with flipping and, and especially flipping, but I guess it goes with money making as well over on uh, in, in old school RuneScape, right? Is not every day you're going to make a ton of money. So don't look at it as a daily profit. Look at it as a weekly or a monthly time frame, right? How much are you making in a month or how much are you making in a week? That's going to be a better determinant or like a better average for you to see how, like how long it's going to take to progress to a certain cash stack because... You know, every day of flipping is not the same, and just looking at a longer time frame is a little bit better. It also helps your sanity out a little bit. Like this week, we're up. Uh, wow, uh, this week we're up 104 million GP, uh, which is quite good actually. Uh, that's about, you know, that's I would say that's about right. But considering we're already up 104 on the week, that's really good. But uh, today, <laughs> today, I mean. <laughs> Today we're up like 1 GP. Like what is going on? But yeah, it's it's uh, been a good week of flipping, I guess. I think that was because last week was just crazy margins. I mean, if you guys were flipping last week then you probably made some bank, let's be real. I really want to get this scythe off, man. It's weird because, you know, usually when the Scythe of Viter or any really expensive item has a small margin, it's trading incredibly fast. But, you know, the, the Scythe is not trading that quickly. We will hang out uh, for this to sell, though. So we'll, we'll just sit back, kick back, talk with you guys for a little bit here today. We have Matt Cool asking, how do I do a margin check? To do a margin check, all you have to do, uh, for example, if you wanted to do one on a Blood Rune, you buy the item for as much as you can, and you sell it for as low as you can, basically. So, for example, you just go into the GE here, and you'd go, we'll search Blood Rune, click Blood Rune. You can't really see it, but then once you have it up on your screen, you just pump up the buy price, you buy one, and you turn around and sell it for a really cheap, and then whatever it sells for is the price that you buy at, and whatever you bought it at is the price you sell for. So it's kind of like the inverse. Um, I have an entire video on how to flip for beginners on my YouTube channel. Also, if you join the Discord, I can just link it to you from there, but uh, I think it's on the Discord group as well. So, uh, Matt Cool, I highly recommend you check out the channel or the Discord group, and we can get you the right tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make some bank in old school RuneScape, man. Daver says, here supporting you. I was a little bad today, uh, but here watching your live stream, I'm a little bit happy. Welcome to the stream, Daver, man. Good to see you, man. Um, Brendan Charles says, is the stream daily or just on weekdays? Um, no, the stream is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. And uh, Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I always post it in my Discord as well every time I go live. So if that's and on YouTube. So if, if uh, you're someone who wants to kind of figure out when the streams are, if you don't want to just remember the times, you can join us on any one of those platforms. Link to the Discord. Um, okay, let me. Uh, I'll, I'll get one really quick. Give me one sec, guys. It's gonna take me a minute to get one because I am a noob at Discord. Uh, I think I got one. Uh, over on YouTube, give me one sec. That is the Discord group if you guys want to join us. Um, but anyway. Horse Detective over on Twitch says, any idea what's up with the Wrath Tally recently? Yes, uh, bots are buying it for, or they're saying they're buying it for an inflated price. Uh, so that way you go ahead and you buy them off the Grand Exchange. Don't flip them, guys. You could end up losing money. I don't recommend it. Flipping botted or like items that bots are promoting is, it's kind, you're, I know, I, I see your thought process of flipping it, right? Oh, if bots are pumping it, then maybe I can buy some and I can sell some back. But, you know, you don't want to play those risky games, honestly. And, 
on top of that, how many people are buying the Wrath Talisman? Like, realistically, how many people are, are buying that? Uh, you know, just not something you want to fall for, not something you want to get involved in. There's way more money that you can make in other areas, I promise. You know, look at how stale these markets are. Crazy. Uh, we're not going to get this scythe off for uh, less than what I thought we would get it for. Almost zero profit on that scythe. It's just a shame. Sorry, I didn't know that music got paused. Apologize for that. Tommy Maher joining us on the flipping team, giving us a subscription on YouTube. Thank you so much, Tommy. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the flipping team. And uh, thank you. We have Jordan Savage asking, or saying, excuse me, stating, uh, also don't fall for scammers. Giveaways are always a scam. I've learned today the hard way. Absolutely be very, very careful with your account, guys. Put an authenticator on, put a bank pin on. Uh, don't don't click any fishy links. Don't type in your account anywhere besides the old school RuneScape official website. Nowhere besides that. Um, don't trade anyone at the Grand Exchange. There, literally, there is zero reason to ever trade anybody. Like, besides, like, your friend. Because the thing is, you could just buy the same item off the Grand Exchange for the exact same price. Any item someone says they're buying at the Grand Exchange, just talking in chat, they're trying to scam you or there's something fishy going on. So just be very careful. Gemfully over on Twitch <laughs> asking, what would you suggest for people who don't even have the game? Like, how can we flip? Um, you can go to ebay.com and buy and sell items on there. That's all I can really say. Um, you know, if you are getting into old school RuneScape, though, if you want to give it a shot, flipping wouldn't even be a recommendation. I, I only recommend flipping for people who are actually really into the game and they're trying to sh they're kind of like struggling to make money They're trying to figure out a better way to make money That's when I recommend flipping the most because I don't find that most people think flipping is like most people don't find flipping to be that exciting So I uh, I'm hesitant to, to push flipping on people that you know aren't really looking for ways to maximize their cash in old school runescape I'm really just trying to get the scythe off. We're still in a profitable range, but we're basically making no money on it. Seth Arav says, What is up, Mr. Nomics? Wanted to tell you I bought a saying staff this morning at 104 mil for the Fashionscape and log into leagues right after. Sold it back this evening for 105.4 million. Quick flip, unexpected. Enjoy the free 1.4 mil, man. You don't always get lucky like that. So take that to the stack and flip it up from there, man. Congrats on that, though. Nathan J. Jensen coming in with the cat with the sunglasses on. Good to see you, Nathan. Thank you for tuning in today over on Twitch. We got 11 on Twitch, 40 on YouTube. Holy moly. Thank you for the support, guys. And uh, welcome to the flipping team, all of you. Uh, we're trying to make as much as we can here today, but we have had the stiffest market uh, I've seen in quite some time. So it's a little bit unfortunate about that. But um, we're basically just waiting for this, this site to end up selling here. Saints fan in a van says, I think there's a bug with the flipping utilities plugin. It says I made 23.5 mil from flipping in the past week, but only 12 mil in the past month. Uh, has anyone else experienced this? That's really weird. I have not experienced that. I've never seen anything like that, actually. Uh, that's really odd. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching today. Uh, you know, we're going to give the scythe like five more minutes and then uh, I'll probably wrap up the stream there. I don't want to sit on the scythe for too long, honestly. And I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm starving. Gemfully, oh my god, Gem. Gemfully over on Twitch says, I've had a problem with my runes recently. They keep escaping me. Ha ha ha, Gem. You're so punny. Uh, Gem, are you going live tonight, by the way? I gotta tune in if you are. 
Uh, Baby Bear RS says, yes, the plugin is always inaccurate. You have to track your own GP daily. Yeah, over a long term, it is inaccurate. And sometimes it will log losses as gains, uh, which I have noticed. But uh, for the most part, though, if you're not someone who cares too much about tracking your bank value day to day, I think the Flipping Utilities plugin does a pretty good job. Yep. At 8, gonna annoy some Pokemon fans. Guys, if you're watching over on Twitch or even on YouTube, be sure to go check out Gemfully on Twitch. Uh, she's one of my personal favorite uh, female streamers. So uh, thank you, uh, Gem, for tuning in today and, and for tuning into the content. I think she just passed 500 followers, so um, congrats on that, Gem. <laughs> Valor Lynx, uh, you, you're making me laugh because uh, I, I like your comment. He says, I feel the need to compliment on your hat, man. It looks cool, or it is cool. It is cool, man. And what, okay, y this is very important, Valor, okay? What color do you think the hat is? What color do you think it is? You, you can look at it. You can look at it. What color is it? Oh, Jim OSRS with a great question as well over on YouTube. He says, do you think a GE tax will ever come into the game? I know they've talked about it months ago. Personally, here's the thing. People think that a GE tax would ruin flipping. It wouldn't. The margins would actually get bigger to cover the, cover the percentage tax. And uh, it'd actually be a better market for flippers, in my opinion, if they came out with a tax. That being said, calculating margins would be way more annoying. And I do not expect that they will ever come out with a GE tax. I know they've talked about it in the past, but if RuneScape 3 doesn't get a GE tax, then old school RuneScape isn't going to get one, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think if they added a GE tax, it also... In would incentivize scammers because people would try to avoid trading on the grand exchange and more scams would happen so i don't think they would ever actually add a ge tax they talked about it in the past i think they just tried to make the mergers a little bit scared i'm gonna be honest dare i say either obvious white or maybe yellow light is throwing me off <laughs> See, it's funny you said that, Valor, because everyone says it's white. It's actually green. It's like a very light green, and I know the color throws you off because, you know, the light bounces off the walls and makes it look white, but it actually is green. But it's funny you mentioned that. That's why I always ask people, because everyone thinks it's white. What they need is a dual arena tax. Baby Bear, there is a dual arena tax, actually. 1% on all winnings. <laughs> Um, we have Daver asking, I am from Venezuela. One question, would you like to make a video about Venezuelans in RuneScape? I will respect, respect your opinion. Uh, please tell me. No, I don't really have any interest in that, to be honest. I just make flipping content for the most part. Um, there, you know, there's, peop there's other people who would probably like to make the Venezuelan content. Uh, not me, personally. I, you know, I'm, I'm not an interviewer of any sorts. I'm just, uh, a fl I'm just a trader, man, okay? <laughs> don't get me into this. Uh, anyway, so, like, a, a huge, massive struggle here today, uh, selling this scythe. I don't, you know, we can't get it off for a decent price, so, uh, it... Okay, bo boys, look at this. Look at, look at how stupid this is. Literally, instant, oh, oh my god! This thing instant sold for 717,555,000. I had it listed... I'm on my last offer there for seven, 717,690,000 GP. Like, there's not even, there's barely 100k on the scythe of Vitter. Are you kidding me? Barely 100k. You know what? On that alone, that makes me so mad that we're, we're going to wrap up the stream right there. That is so bad. Are you kidding me? Less then like literally like 120k on the site of Vitter. i think that's a good time to end it guys <laughs> it's just crazy man <sighs> it's, i've never seen like a worse market than this man Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in today. So much love on the stream today. I really do appreciate it. Um, awful markets today, guys. 1.8 mil in profit, a little bit over an hour here on the stream. 
Thank you guys for tuning in today. Be sure to give us a follow over on Twitch if you're not with us already. Subscribe on YouTube. Drop a like on YouTube as well. And also, on top of all of that, guys, be sure to join us in our Discord group. Link in the description below. We've got a flipping competition going on right now where first place wins 10 mil and second place wins a bond, which is almost 10 mil at this point. Bonds are so expensive right now. So if you can get a free one from the competition, well, you might want to try. Definitely join the competition in Discord. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Drop a like, and I'll see you all in the next one.